What is up guys, Awesome Nurcho here, back again with another My Morphin Collection episode. This time we have the Power Ranger Legacy Collection Zeo Rangers. So we have all the Zeo Rangers that, you know, come with the build a figure here, as you can see here, build a Megazord figures for the Zeo Megazord. And so we're super excited to finally get all of these, especially these here on top were the hardest to find and I finally found them. That's why we're doing this video. I just found them yesterday so I can finally complete this set and get it done. And as I've mentioned in the past episode, so I did do a review on the Zeo Megazord before like the actual toy Zeo Megazord so you can see that if you want more detail on the uh, Megazord and all the different stuff it can do um, you can find that on the channel so to get all this to complete it and everything I had to find these three rangers right here on top and as I mentioned I found them so I just found these two yesterday and as you can see oh you guess you can't kind of see but right up here it has a, only a GameStop logo sticker on it and then it has these special stickers here for the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers of course here in the United States and so it's super cool that um, I was finally able to find them and I had no clue that they were GameStop exclusives at all and if I would have known that I would have looked harder into GameStop than just looking everywhere for these and then of course I found these two yesterday and then went to another store and found the blue ranger here which were the last three i needed so i'm super excited to finally get these done so we have the yellow um sorry pink yellow and blue and i have them in order so we have you know zeo um, ranger one zeo ranger two zeo ranger three and then we can go down to the next row here where we have zeo ranger four five and then the sixth ranger so we have of course the green ranger red ranger and the gold ranger here and so i'm super excited to um get all these put together and everything especially get the zeo zord because as i mentioned zeo is one of my favorite seasons of all the power ranger seasons and so i'm super excited to get all these rangers have another zeo megazord um, figure um and so all of them come with zeo megazord part except for this um, Gold Ranger, the Sixth Ranger. He just comes with his staff. Um, so we won't be getting a Build-A-Figure piece from that. But let's go ahead and get into these. We'll review each one. Then at the very end, put the Zeo Megazord all together. And it'll be awesome. So let's get into it. Okay, so first off here, we have Zeo Ranger 1. And so this is the Pink Ranger. So Zeo Ranger 1 Pink, I believe, is kind of what they label it as. But this is the Pink Ranger. And this is Catherine, or Cat, from the show. Um, this was her... Um, character she played and so we have the pink zeo ranger here and so um i really like these figures of course by the look and design they remind me so much of the classic zeo look um but the figures are probably not the best but let's go ahead and get into it so first off we have the helmet here and as you can see we have the circle on the top here or the oval shape as her like kind of like logo or whatever for this um ranger and so it goes on since she's zeo ranger one each since she's number one they each have a number assigned to them and then that corresponds with the shape that they have and so since she's one, she just has a one-sided shape of an oval or a circle. You know, it's just got one continuous side, so that's why she's one there. Um, so we'll go ahead and bring it up here to look at so you can see the shape and the design of it there. It's just their visor piece that they see out of. Then up top here, along with each other's shapes, they kind of just have a design to help, you know, cut the shape out of their helmets and everything. I think it's kind of weird, but it kind of makes sense, though, at the same time to get that shape in there. Um, then we have their little mouth right there going down into their neck where they have the white um, collar piece as they um, did from the Mighty Morphin and everything. Then we go into their neck piece. Again, that re this reminds me a lot of, like, Egyptian type design um, with like the gold and it's got the white in there as well but they have a gold you know piece around the neck and then like a larger piece like a necklace that comes down and around it's got some designs into it as you can see there I don't know what they're supposed to be but they kind of remind me of like hieroglyphics and everything would be like the best detail like or thing I could compare it to but they have all that detail going in there and then um, so for the ranger we have her arms going out here into the gloves so we've got gold parts there and they're going into the white gloves on each side. Then going down, um, this is a female, so they did put breasts on her. And like, they are very quite pronounced for a you know figure for kids and stuff. I don't know why they do it so much. You know, make it like this is a female. You got to make sure you know it's a female and everything. You know, though it's got the pink collar and skirt and everything. You got to make sure it's a female. So. They went a little overboard with that, I think. Um, then going down into the stomach here, where you can see it's got like some abs or whatever. Going into the belt, where it does have the Zeo logo there. It's a circle with all the different shapes of all the rangers that we'll see going through here. In the middle of the belt, so it's gold belt, and it has some uh, two holsters here for their weapons that we'll see here in a second. Going into her skirts, where it has a gold lining um, on the very bottom of it. But yeah, it's just got a pink skirt, you know, again, make sure you know it's a woman going down her pink legs into her shoes where similar to the gloves where they have this upper gold part and then just all white boots 
there and so she's all ready for action and everything and so with these figures they are super like i call them super posable not like the most posable figures ever um but unfortunately for these the females kind of like suffer from it because they get such like skinny parts so like their arms and legs are skinnier compared to the guys so they don't hold up as well but for the arms or so i guess let's go and start with the figure at the top so for the, the first thing we have the head so of course it can rotate you know side to side twist all the way around up and down whichever direction you need there going into the arms so the shoulders are very posable so they can you know, rotate 360 degrees and then they can you know bend up and down whichever however you want them to do it there then they have an upper shoulder area that can rotate or upper arm i guess you could say that has a rotation as well then they have the elbow joints then they have um, the wrist joints here at the end of the hands that can rotate 360 as well and so you can just you know bend this and twist it however direction you want it you can just do all sorts of things with it and pose it there so both arms there then go down to the abs so it does have an ab crunch there so you can you know rotate it around and everything from different side to sides and back and forth um no real hip movements there like the upper hip but it does have um the leg hip movements there and so you can move them a little of course the skirt limits limits the movement there but you can move it a little there then it does have the upper thigh twisting area there so you can you know help twist around and pose it how you want a double knee joint so got a knee or a joint on the top and the bottom so you can bend the knees however you want then it does have the foot rotation there so you can move the foot you know back and forward or forward and backwards whatever and then side to side in weird positions that look very gruesome and so as i mentioned especially these foot joints are what really give out so as you stand them up and like i put them on the shelf and everything the foot joints get out over time and it's always the females that fall down and then they knock everything else down with it so for weapons we get the um zeo power or what a power pod sword i think is what they call it and so this is supposed to be the sword so i'll pull up here so you can see um so here in the center we have the zeo logo again with all the shapes inside of the circle then we have like some wings coming off of it we have the handle here and then this silver part supposed to be the sword and in the show and stuff this like extends up to become the blade but in the toy it doesn't so it's kind of useless and i don't know why they do stuff like that you could have included you know their actual weapons that they have it's kind of like the Mighty Morphin ones they did. The original figures didn't come with their weapons. They come with, like, the you know, their Power Blaster and everything. But then they came back out with another ones that were metallic and actually came with each of their weapons. Um, so I wish they would have just done that, and I hope they don't make another. Of course, with Bandai being sold to Hasbro, or the Power Rangers, I guess, being sold from Savannah or whatever to Hasbro, and Hasbro now probably taking control, they probably won't remake them. But then we've got the power or like uh, laser pistol i believe is what it's called is this weapon here it looks like a squirt gun maybe like a toy squirt gun i had as a kid and that can go into the holster as well then of course you can obviously stick them in their hands and use it and i cannot get these guns in the holsters i don't know if you have to load them in a special way but i have so many issues trying to get those in there but that's it for the Pink Ranger. Then, of course, for the Megazord part, she does come with the right leg of the Megazord that corresponds to her. So, as you can see down here, we do have the oval shape that kind of matches her visor there. And this is her Zord from the thing. And it's just a weird, supposed to be like a statue type thing. Um, and it's based off, I believe it's called the Moai, M O I. AI something like that some something, something along those lines is what this figure is supposed to be like based off its shape and everything but that's going to be it for the pink zeo ranger then next up we have zeo ranger 2 and this is the yellow ranger so zeo ranger 2 yellow i believe again i can't remember exactly how they word their names but um that's what it is so this is the yellow ranger from this season of power rangers and so this is tanya is the character that the yellow ranger was and so again going on with their numbers and corresponding shapes so she has two ovals here so it almost looks like an equal sign but again two ovals that have one continuous side so it's a one and a two so she's number two and so she's exactly like the pink ranger just yellow instead so we don't have to go through all the details um but you can see she's got all the exact same parts and movement she's built the exact same way just everything's yellow instead of pink but we will look at her visor up here so you can see um the difference that's going on there where she has again the two circles going on there see which of course i don't know how you like because obviously you she could probably see out of this part but i don't see how you'd see out of this part or the opposite you'd see out of one but not the other but and it'd be like her eyes are almost right in the middle i would think by the um size and everything but there's her shape there then of course you've got the mouth and then again a different little head 
design going in there. It's similar to the Pink Rangers, but different at the same time. And then again, it's the exact same going all the way down through just yellow instead of pink. So nothing different going on here. All the same body movements and everything. Again, she has both of the weapons, the pod sword and the bla um, laser pistol going in there. Um, like I said, it'd be nice to, you know, talk more about these, but they're the exact same, so it's kind of hard to, you know, come up with something else or different to say, but they're exactly the same. So if you saw the pink one, you see the yellow one now. She's yellow. And then, of course, she comes with the Megazord part, so she has the left leg of the Megazord, and this is, um, again, she's got the two ovals going on there, as you can see. So, again, going on with the numbers and the shapes and everything. And this one is based off a DOA, I believe. D-O-A is, I believe, how it's spelled. And again, don't know exactly what that is, but it's kind of like an, it, they remind me a lot of like an Easter Island face kind of design. It's easier to see on the actual Zord that I mentioned I did a review of, and not so much on these ones. But um, I still like them a lot, and I think they're really cool. So we got the two legs there, and so that's going to be it for the yellow Zeo Ranger. The next up here we have Zeo Ranger 3 Blue, so the Blue Ranger out of the set. And so it's pretty similar like, like to its female, the female counterparts, but obviously a little different because it's got a male body instead of a female. So we'll go ahead and look at that. So again, this is 3, and so it has a shape corresponding to 3 as in a triangle. So a shape with 3 sides being the triangle going on there. So let's go ahead and bring him up here to see... So you can see, again, the triangle shape going into the face as his visor there. Again, the mouth and then the head shape. Again, a little bit different, very similar, but different all at the same time. Then going down, it's got the same sort of necklace as the female did here. The necklace or the chest piece going on again with all the shapes and designs going into the chest area there. Then we've got the arms going out to the gloves. Very Again, very similar to the female, just a lot bulkier because they make them in, you know, more muscular and everything. But it's got the gold um, armor piece around there and there, then the white gloves going down. So obviously it doesn't have any breasts or anything because it's man, but it does have a bunch of abs. They always got to throw the abs in there. Going to its waist where it does have the gold belt, again, with the Zeo um, logo shape going in there. The two holsters going down the legs um, into the boots here where it's got the gold piece up top and then the feet that are much bigger than the female and much more sturdier so let's look at the motion on this so of course we have the head again it's the same it can you know do the back and forth side to side all that stuff then going into the shoulders so again have the exact same type of movements can completely rotate around there and then flex up and down then we have the upper shoulder which this one yeah is a little stiff but can rotate some it has a different shape where the female was just like a complete circle around this has as you can see probably um you know the like little like uh curve going into it you know like that sort of shape um there then we have the double elbow joints on the men where the females only had the one so a double elbow doesn't offer too much more movement but it does have it there and then of course the wrist with the hand that can spin all the way around and then we do have the ab crunch here that you can see a lot better so it does have you know the inflection part there but it can only move this way the female can move you know side to side and everything this could only move back and forth but they also do have the waist movement that can twist side to side where the female's in it so that's probably how they like compromise on it there then we do have the upper thigh movement so it can move all the way around the men have a lot more movement than the female do because of their skirts and stuff so the men don't have that to limit them then they have the upper thigh which again the females were just a circle in this one they actually have you know some sort of shape and design like cut out through there um so you can move men and it adds a little bit more into it there then we do have a double knee joint again much stiffer joint than the female had no leg movement there and then of course the foot so it can go forwards and backwards and then twist to the different sides for posability and everything and again the men like i said last a lot longer because their joints are much thicker and so they don't weaken up and fall as nearly as easily as the females do they still do just not nearly as easily and again we've got the weapon so we've got the pod sword and the laser pistol there and then for the Megazord, we get the left arm of the Zeo Zord, and this is, of course, part of the Blue Ranger Zord itself, so that's why it matches his color of the blue and everything. From the Zord that we'll see parts of later, the Sphinx-looking Zord, the Zeo Zord 3, as it's called. Um, and so, yeah, that's really all there is to the Blue Ranger. And next up here, we have the Green Ranger, so Zeo Zord 4. 
4, or Zero Ranger 4, sorry, green. So this is the Green Ranger. I forgot to mention the last Ranger, the Blue Ranger, was Rocky, and this one is Adam. So again, they continued on from the second two se or from the second season on of Mighty Morphin on to Zeo now. And so here we have the Green Ranger. Again, it's exactly like the blue. So these ones I won't be going into all the detail again like I did with the yellow. Won't be going into all the detail because they're exact same, just blue instead of or green instead of the blue but of course we will look at the face sculpt up here so we have the square again the four so it's a zero four so it has four sided shape of being a square or a rectangle in this case and as you can see there and so here's a little bit different look at the head so that definitely does have a different shape going onto it there and then we have the mouth and everything down there and then again everything else is exactly the same as the blue ranger being a man with all the thicker joints and everything and um I'd say probably more posability and because they stand a lot easier and everything. And so again, of course, has the power pod sword and the laser pistol. And then the best part of me is the Megazord part. So here we have the upper chest and like pretty much the whole top of the Zeo Megazord. So in this parts we do have, um, we'll start at the top I guess. So we have um, Zeo Zord 5 which is the Red Rangers which we will see next. Um, his part so it's um, supposed to be a phoenix but obviously you can't really tell except for these are like the wings. But it's a phoenix going on there. Actually, that's uh, more like the head or anything. And the back here is the wings of the Megazord there that are all folded up and everything. But you can't really see that because it's just a figure, not the actual Zord. Then we go into the blue, so Zeozord 3's um, heads of the Sphinx, you know, because it's like the main part of the upper body um, going on there with the arms and stuff being part of it as well. So we got the Sphinx. And then we've got his, the Green Rangers, Zeozord 4 is the bull. So we have the bull head. And that like part here is the bull's body and everything going on there. So I like this part because it's got you know all three or three different um, zords or character zords in here together, all mixed up and everything. So I really like that a lot. So of course that's another part of the Megazord, and that's going to be it for the Green Ranger. And next up we have my favorite Zeo Zord Five Red Ranger. So this is of course Tommy from the show. So can to uh, Tommy continue on from the Green Ranger to the White Ranger, and now he's the Red Zeo Ranger. And this is my absolute favorite. Favorite. And it's inspiration for my gamer tag name that I use, you know, here on YouTube and everything as Fallen Red Zeo because he's the Red Zeo Ranger. And so he's just like kind of like my absolute favorite thing ever and stuff and such an inspiration um, to a lot of my life and stuff. And so here we have the Zeo Ranger Red, as you can see. So again, he is um, Zeo Ranger 5 Red Ranger. And so then he's got five so he's got the shape of a star which of course has five different sides it's so weird like seeing it in the camera it to me it actually looks you know somewhat like an actual star but like from this angle i'm sitting at it looks all weird and shaped and everything and it's crazy so it's just funny how they design it to look properly but at different sides and stuff it looks weird so there we have the face sculpt there of the red or the star visor and you can see on the top here the shape carved into it and stuff again to make the shape there, as you can see, the different like prongs of the star and everything, and the mouth and all that. And again, it's the exact same, so I won't go into all the detail again to continue on and bore everything. Um, but there we have the red again, instead of blue or the green, it's just all red. Everything's the exact same. It's another male, so it's got all the same parts and joints and all that. Then, of course, for weapons, we've got the power pod sword. And the blast or laser pistol. Again, I'm never gonna say it wrong. I always want to say blaster because of the F Mighty Morphin ones. Um, and so there we got those two weapons that go in the holster there. And then we've got our final piece of the Megazord, the right arm again, continuing on with Zeo Zord 3's um, other arm here that's supposed to be part of the Sphinx. I wish it was a part that matched him, the Phoenix one. But they didn't do it that design was because you always have to do arms and legs and then the body. And so we've got that last part there for that. And so I wish I could go into more detail. Obviously, like I said, this is Tommy, um, my favorite character ever from Power Rangers. And he became the Red Zeo Ranger, my absolute favorite. And so I just like this a whole lot. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of detail going to it. Like I said, we went through all the joints and everything. So no, nothing else to say there. But that, so that's going to be it for these Red Zeo Ranger. And our last ranger here, which of course doesn't come with a Megazord, so unfortunately we don't get another piece to add onto it. But we have the Gold Ranger, 
Um, I don't really know if he has the details. I assume it'd be like um, Zeo or yeah, Zeo Ranger Six, but I don't know for sure if that's what they classify him as. I just know he's considered the Gold Ranger. Um, so he's a little bit different. So we can actually go into some detail on him. So he does have the face scalp since he is the Six Ranger here. He does have a six prong. It's not you know different sides technically because it has a lot more sides if you count them off. But it's got the six or three prongs on each side. So Pull it building up to six, so I'll pull it up here so you can see. So yeah, you can see it's got you know one, two, three, four, five, six on the side. And supposedly the shape is supposed to be um I stand for something, I don't remember what it's called, but it's um whatever language it's in. It stands for king, which of course he's you know gold. He's supposed to be like King Midas. He's got Pure Midas, the giant pyramid, gold pyramid stuff as his sword. So it just kind of all goes along with being a king and Midas and all that sort of stuff. So he's the Golden Ranger going on here. Again, I like the helmet. It's hard to see with the black, but you can see it does have a little bit different shape in the sculpting going in there to make this shape. And then, of course, the mouth going down the neck where we have another gold necklace going around there. And then this gold chest piece around here that looks really awesome. And again, it's got more of the detail going into it like the other rangers did there. Then it's got another little gold band going around there which is cut open on the sides here it's still the chest piece is stuck on but it's got the cuts there so as you can like bend it and stuff it doesn't get in the way and um limit it, his movements as much then going down the arm so we have a gold band up at the top of the arm here they go down to the gloves that are similar to all the others so that it has the gold you know band at the top and then the white glove same on both sides then going down the abs, of course have the abs there going into the belt and so this time the belt has of course his logo there the six um, logo get there again whatever it's called that I don't know how to pronounce going down his legs of so he's you know continuing on with the black suit going down his legs so he has this gold band above his knees then he's got a gold like knee pad there and then of course the boots similar to the others but it's got a much bigger gold band at the top of the boots going on there and then of course the white boots but unfortunately this figure is misshapen so to get the knee to go straight you have to turn the little leg sideways but to get the foot and like shoe to look properly you have to turn it and so it's all messed up so i have to build or buy a new figure to replace this because they put it together all wrong and uh, and i can't get this to twist or anything because i don't think it does so i'd probably end up having to break it to do that so unfortunately this is not a good figure for that but at least i was able to get of course this was the very first zeo ranger i bought out of the whole set was this one because i figured he'd be super hard to find to get so as soon as i saw i just snatched it up right away it's like i've got to get this so i don't miss out on it. now i see him everywhere so i can probably easily find another one again um unfortunately just have to pay for it twice um but i really like that besides the whole knee part which that's you know i've never had a ranger have this issue i've had you know like issue with limbs of movement and being weak and everything but not being put on and properly which i just don't know it looks like they just all they did is when they attached the leg they just put it on sideways instead of the straight direction like this one so that'll be something i can you know just buy to fix and everything and again he doesn't come with any megazord parts but he does have his gold power staff which i think is just a cool looking staff so here we have again the six logo there um, again, I really like that shape and everything. I like the detail compared to you know most weapons They don't put this much detail into but I like the red ball on the top the red little stuff there and there again I don't know exactly what his um, power this thing do except for probably just suit lasers and stuff as most Power Ranger weapons do um, But he's got the handle going down into the bottom here where I like this like end point It's almost like a spear almost design wise but it's got these two sharp points you know could be used as like an axe or something as well then we do have um, the Zeo logo there in the circle and it's just going down into a point so it looks like it could also be a blaster it looks like just a big multi-use weapon is what this is that you can obviously put into his hand as well which i think is really cool but i think that's it for all of these zeo rangers so again this was zeo ranger six and this was played by jason i forgot to mention jason did return of course the original red ranger did return this season and become the gold ranger which i thought was really cool that they brought him back so that's going to be it for the gold ranger so now we have all the pieces, we can go ahead and start to build our Megazord, which I'm super excited to see the Zeo Megazord, so let me go ahead and put this together and we'll be back. And so here it is all put together, the Zeo Megazord, and I think it looks really cool. The unfortunate thing about these um, pull Power Ranger build a Megazord thing is, of course, we do Marvel Legends on this channel, and they always come with the build of figures, and they're usually really cool and have good quality and everything. Where these swords aren't nearly as done well, um, 
for like their movements and stuff compared to like the actual rangers and everything um they're not bad it's just i don't like the way they stand usually so we'll start of course we've looked at all the different individual pieces but of course it has all the arm movements so it has you know a shoulder joint here that can move along um it's got the arms that can also move up and down as well it's got an elbow joint and then um, wrist um, twist then we looked at the head earlier so that the head does you know move around and twist around there we do have a waist joint so it can you know twist around a little there if you wanted to then we've got a, a hip joint so the legs you know can move around and everything then we have what i guess you'd call the knee which is what the issue really comes from is they're really weak and um, because of the shape you know of the zord because it's got big giant feet so it has to stand all weird and everything the um, joints not being done very well they are really loose and so when you stand it up, it's hard to like get them to stand straight. So it's usually always leaning to one side or the other, or it falls back like that, as you can see. And so it's just hard to get this thing like situated and configured into a looking, you know, pretty decent standing up and everything. Um, but then going on in the feet, we do have some joints here, so they do, you know, can move a little bit from side to side and stuff like that. And I really like that a lot, though. Like I said, I wish the knee joints would work and cooperate. Like, see, I can't even get it to, like, lay somewhat flat because the knees just bend backwards. As you can see there, they're just, like, bent backwards. Um, but I think it still looks really cool otherwise because I love the Zeo Megazord. So that's going to be it for this My Morphin Collection episode looking at the Zeo Legacy Collection set of Power Ranger figures here. Of course, with the build a figure of, or build a Megazord, sorry, of the Zeo Megazord that I think is just absolutely awesome. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below and let me know which Ranger is your favorite out of this set. Or if you liked or have even watched Zeo before. Um, like I said, it's probably not the most popular uh season ever but i just really like it and enjoy it and i like the swords and the look of the rangers and everything so that's just one reason why i like it so much but don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos and we'll see you next time